Hello and welcome to the bee vlog. So it's been seven days since I split Queen Helen's hive up into three nukes and I want to check on the progress of their queen rearing today. After an egg gets laid it hatches three days later and then six days after that the cell gets capped for a queen cell. And then at day 16 the queen emerges. Since it's been seven days I should expect to see some queen cells being constructed. Probably not capped yet but I should see the queen cells in there if they've been raising the queens as I would hope they would. They seem to be acting a little cranky today because yesterday was the 4th of July and here in the United States we blow up fireworks and make all kinds of noise. And that may have caused a little bit of a bad attitude today. Also the fact that they're not queen right might also be a little bit of a factor in making them a little bit angry. I was just standing nearby and I got stung in the back of the neck. So today I'm going to do something I don't normally like to do and I'm suiting up in the, my full bee suit. It's kind of a hot day and this suit makes things hotter. So I'm going to keep the inspection short and just try to look for queen cells, show you what the queen cells look like and then I'm going to close things up. Here's an example of some queen cells and they are actually capped. So that means that the larva that they used to raise the queens was actually old enough. It wasn't quite an egg. Probably about three days old or within that time frame, within that window. And the difference between a queen cell and any other regular worker cell is it's elongated and hangs downward like a little peanut hanging from the side of the comb. Since these queens are being raised in an emergency situation where they don't have a queen and they have to designate a select few worker brood to be the new queen, these are called emergency cells. And they get constructed wherever the larva is in the comb. So they just extend out the cell and then shape it downward. And there's a queen larva growing inside this one here. And there's another one there, another one there, another one there, another one there. So I just see five right here in this area. Plus they made a few queen cups, a couple queen cups. There's one here and one up here. I don't think there's anything in them, but I can take a quick peek. No, there's nothing in them. They are empty. Wouldn't expect there to be anything in them. But that's the five queen cells I've seen so far. I'll carefully put this frame back since this frame is holding my new queen. After giving them the smoke, the bees seem to be behaving much better. I'm not getting the defensive reactions I was getting earlier before I even opened the hive. Here's another queen cell. Actually two more. These ones look really good. One here and one down here. And they are capped. So I'll close this hive up and it looks like they are nicely raising new queens. It will take approximately another seven days for those queens to emerge. The first queen to emerge will go around and kill all the other queens and then she will begin to take mating flights. I don't want to disturb them for the first month so for the, I'm not going to open this hive for another month and then I'll check on them and see how well the queen was mated. Now hive number two. Okay, they had me worried there for a minute because I wasn't seeing any queen cells until the very last frame that I looked. And I see one, two, over on this side, but they're not capped yet. And I see three, four, five, six, seven more on this side. 
and they're kept. So I have them right here. One, two, three, four, and over here, five, six. So it looks like they've got plenty of potential queens, and there's a seventh. Phew! They had me concerned for a minute there. So the nukes seem to be okay. They're raising some queens, and I won't look back in on them for another month. It's been a week since I did the splits. 